Hi guys, um, welcome to the TARDIS 37 today I'm reviewing this, which is the Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture uh, attack set, and um, yeah, it's really cool, I don't know if I can show off the entire box, but um, really huge, really cool, it's really blessed to find these with the other figures, and uh, it was on top of the shelf at um, Walmart, and it was weighing like this, I did not even know if it was going to be the Vulture attack set, this guy had to help me get it down, uh, really awesome of him, Walmart, great store, Really cool place, and um, yeah, just love it. I love the design. It's a Spidey on the side. I love the logos. We got some really awesome image of the Vulture flying around. You know, I love that because this kind of does feel like more Vulture set as he does come with it, and it's called Marvel's Vulture Attack set. So um, yeah, we have this really awesome image of Spidey facing off with Shocker, and I think that's our first little image of Shocker. Um, I did see some images, uh, leaked images from filming over the summer of 2016, and he didn't look like that, but there is a rumor going around that there's two Shockers in the movie, so perhaps that's why, and um, yeah, it looks really cool, and here we have an image of the content, and uh, down here we have the name of the set, the cool Spidey logo, on this side we have the other stuff available, and on this side we have some Marvel Spider-Man, and on this back side we have an image of the set, how tall it is, um, and pretty much just all the action figures, you know, your basic set stuff, so let's get this review. Hey guys, I don't honestly know how well this is going to come up on camera, but here is the Vulture Attack set. And um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm going to try to start off at the top of detailing. I don't know how well that's going to do. So um, yeah, keep in mind, I'm not really sure what you're seeing on the camera. But up here we have this cool water tower. And you know, it reminds me of the first Spider-Man video game uh, from the 2002 movie. And there was actually a level, if I'm not mistaken, with Vulture in a water tower. So that's pretty cool. And uh, up here we have a sticker that says Spider-Man Homecoming. There's these little air conditioners on these buildings, and I really like that. Um, you can see there's these little clips up here that you can sit your figures on. Um, only thing about these is they don't really stay in place well, so that's a bit of a downer. But uh, here's a play feature, and you stick Vulture here, and... Uh, sorry about that. Um, you pretty much swing him around. You can go in a full circle just because the back cave's behind here. I can't do that, but... um. Yeah, and uh, you get a new wing pack with Vulture, and the Vulture's a bit different from the other one. I'll review him a bit more later, um, but this one has a special wing pack, so you can do the flying thing, but it is removable. And uh, moving down a bit more, here we have this building. Uh, because there's like a Spider-Man flag, and what kind of reminds me of like a high school thing here, I wonder if this is supposedly an apartment where Peter lives. We have Spider-Man written here, but what's really cool is we have... Uh, the spider light, I don't know the name of it, I think spider signal, um, you know, it's the thing that Spider-Man's belt does, but in the new movies, it's going to be on his web shooters, so it's really cool that they've included that, even though it's kind of weird, I think that its place is justified, as that's something Spider-Man will be able to do in the new movie, something we saw in Captain America Civil War, so uh, pretty cool. Here we have this fire escape, which does not stay attached to it very well, it took me a little bit to figure out how this thing actually connects to it, because it does not really stay that well attached, and you couldn't really put characters on it, but it's a nice little design, and I think it's cool that they've done this. And uh, on this side, you have the ATM. I don't know if that's coming up. Yeah, there it is. And uh, that kind of reminds me at the start of the trailer where Spider-Man fights those fake Avengers. So I think that's what's supposed to be. There's no real play features or stuff there, but it is neat. Um, here, you have a pipe. I don't know if you guys can see that pipe, like right in front of the fire, uh, fire hydrant. You can move that to either side. There's a hole on each side. And you only get one pipe, but you can move it to wherever you want. And, um, yes, yeah, so that's cool. These are the main play features, though. Um, you get this big blue web. It's a uh, stretchy rubber. I don't know if I can take this off for a second. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you. It kind of reminds me of those ones that come in the Ultimate Spider-Man or Ultimate Spider-Man vs. Sinister Six toy lines. And um, pretty much... If I can hold it, it's just like, you know, really stretchy, really cool. Um, I think the problem with this, though, is this is going to be really easy to break. And I think that's going to be a big problem for kids. So, yeah, totally not something cool. And even though it's meant to be like a catapult, I think there's a lot of uses for this web. And I think it's cool that they've included it. Up here, we have the street lamp. And uh, as you can see, it's covered in webbing. Uh, looks really neat. And uh, did not have that clicked down all the way. Did not realize that. On this side, you have a red light. Um, I wish they would have panned it, but nonetheless, it still looks really cool. And uh, here you have kind of a web trap feature. And pretty much the way this works is you take a figure and you place them here. 
currently searching for a figure that I can dispose of because I don't want to shoot any of my nice homecoming figures at it. Um, so yeah, hold on a sec, guys. Okay, I can't really find the figure, and because it doesn't actually work that well, I'm not going to demonstrate it. Um, I tried it twice with two of my homecoming figures, and it either shot them like onto the floor or hit them really hard, and yeah, I just don't want to break them. Uh, so I don't really like this feature. I don't think it's a good idea, to be honest, you know, just for the catapult, but the idea is that you shoot something, and it will either go flying out this window... Or it lands here, and boom, this web trap pops up. Now, this is made of that same material, and, you know, this is such a great idea. I actually think that, you know, while kids will probably use these more for catapulting, I think you could use these for a lot of things. Like, you know, like that scene in Spider-Man 2, where um, that police car flips up, and Spider-Man does a web and catches a police car. I don't know if it was a police car. I think it was a police car. I think that's really cool, and I love the idea of the web shield. So yeah, that's really neat. Um, it's all really interesting. It's really cool play features. Even though I don't really like how this one works, I think it's cool. And uh, this one too. And again, even though this design would just be a catapult, I really think you could use this for a lot of things. And I think kids will like that. My only like complaint with this is that it can, will probably break easy with kids. Uh, so that's a bit of a downer. But you know, uh, maybe they can make replacements for this. That would be cool. And I do like the side over here. I love that you can fly the vulture around. It's all around a really cool set, to be honest. And, you know, typically do not make sets for six-inch figures. So it's really cool that they have made this set, to be honest. And I really like that, to be honest. And also, you know, like, I love play sets. I always have ever since I was a kid. So I like the idea that I can go buy a Spider-Man Homecoming action figure and then get the play set to go with it. I like that this all came out with the same week. Don't get me wrong, I love Dawn Justice, but I had to wait till December to get the Bat Cave. I love that this all just came out like in the same wave, the same week. It's such a cool idea. And it's definitely something a lot of kids will have fun with. And uh, let's move on to the Vulture. Here we have the Vulture, and this Vulture is a little bit variated from the previous Vulture. And I think that's really cool because, you know, I thought they were going to give us the same Vulture, but they didn't. So uh, the first, like, really cool thing is these are articulated wheat. And the original Vulture from, like, the uh, basic figures cannot do that. Well, same basic figures, but Wave 1, I mean, uh, it cannot do this. So I like the idea that they give you articulated wings. I also like that the circle bits are in this one, and uh, they're painted blue. It looked really cool with the green. I actually like this wing pack uh, better, even though it's smaller. I just love the idea of the articulated wings more, and uh, it adds more to the character. So, like, this helmet is more white slash silver, and uh, the other one was just kind of, like, complete green, uh, gray or green, and I, I don't know, like, in the movie, it looks a bit more like the basic one, but it's still a way of varianting it, and, uh, you know, both look a lot like the movie one, so that's cool. It's got the nice fur thing that the other one had, and uh, this is a little bit where it gets more different. Um, hold on, let me... Uh this really quick kind of flip my light thing back on so um as you can see they're just like this is a brighter silver this is a darker silver um yeah that's about really the big difference uh same way just like brighter darker brighter darker that's about it and uh same way with the pants and the legs too though i actually think these are different legs to be honest i think they went with a different oh no they didn't sorry my bad just they different paint and uh either way both look really cool the only big difference in these Vulture figures is that this one cannot do this. That's really the only big difference besides the uh, detail. So, um, yeah, as for articulation, there's a 360 at the head. It's ball jointed. The ball joint works better on this one, in my opinion. And the arm, you can get a 360, but again, you cannot swing it out like you can the other one. And the legs kick forward, and there is no bendability at the knee either. But I don't think the original had bendability at the knee. So, again, not too much of a big difference. Um, I do think this is a better vulture just because it has the moving wings. And you know, something I like is a lot of times they kind of like cheat you with these figure set figures or like sets that come with like, you know, characters. But I feel with like the wings and uh, the detail, um, it's pretty good for what comes with this set and it is really neat. Ultimately, I love this line so much. I think that they have done a great job on this, to be honest. And, um, you know, it's great. Uh, definitely recommend this. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And um, also, just in case you're wondering, you can switch the Vulture wing pack. So if you want this one to have this one, you could do that. Anyways, bye.